Today I bring you something simple but important, and that is how to load our amplifier with low impedance speakers. I will show you how to make series and parallel connections. For this example I will use an amplifier that supports 4 to 16 ohms and 15 plus 15 watts RMS. I will also use 20 watts RMS speakers with an impedance of 8 ohms. Voy a empezar con una conexión estándar en estéreo. Connection. To do this, we will connect the wires to the terminals respecting the polarity. If we look at the cable, we will see that one of its wires has a longitudinal line. I will use this one for the positive. We just loaded the amplifier with 8 ohms on each channel. According to the amplifier data, it supports 4 to 16, so we are within a specification. Here you can see a small connection graphic of what we have just done, in case it has not been seen properly, always respecting the polarity of the speakers. Parallel connection. To connect the speakers in parallel, we will connect the positive of the speakers to each other and to the amplifier, and the negatives also with each other and the amplifier. We must do this on both channels, so that our installation has a balanced load. As we have said that our speakers were 8 ohms, when we put them in parallel there will be 8 4 ohms in each channel. This way we will have the minimal load supported by this amplifier. Here you can see graphically how we have connected it. Connecting in series. To connect our speakers in series, we must connect the negative of one of our speakers to the negative of the amplifier, and the positive of the amplifier to the positive of the other speaker. The only thing left to do is to connect our speakers together. From the free negative of the speaker to the free positive of the other speaker. That will be our connection. We repeat the same operation for the other channel. By putting them in series, the impedances of both speakers are added, 8 ohms of the first one plus 8 ohms of the second one, giving us 16 ohms, which is the maximum that this amplifier supports. I saw this installation graphically to clarify its connection. In this last example, I will show you how to make a parallel series installation. Initially, we would have two speakers in series, and two more also in series. Now we connect both pairs in parallel and we would have a parallel series installation. The result would be 8 plus 8 ohms from the first pair in series, which would be 16 ohms, and 8 plus 8 ohms from the other pair, which would make another 16 ohms. As they are also in parallel, we will have half the ohms. From 16 ohms, we will go to 8 ohms. Remember to do the same on the other channel, to load the amplifier correctly. Here is a small connection graphic of what we have just done, in case it has not been seen clearly. Finally, and as a piece of advice, I recommend that you always use speakers that are a little more overdimensioned in power than the amplifier's specifications. And also, never go below the minimum impedance that the amplifier supports, as the amplifier will suffer and even burn out.